Welcome to Electron Line. Here we have a first example of how to use the comparison test. We're supposed to integrate the function e to the minus x squared dx from 0 to infinity. And what we're going to do here is we're going to split up into two integrals. We're first going to integrate from 0 to 1 and then again from 1 to infinity. Why do we do that? Well here we're going to compare that function to the function y equals e to the minus x. Now it'll become quite clear quickly that yes we can integrate this and it will have a limit but just to illustrate the usefulness of the comparison test we're going to go out of our way a little bit and to compare it to another function that we know will indeed converge. For example if we take the function y equals e to the minus x and we integrate it from 1 to infinity then e to the minus x when we integrate it becomes minus e to the minus x and then we can see that if we then evaluate it from 1 to infinity, we'll rewrite this as negative 1 over e to the x, evaluate it from 1 to infinity, we plug in the upper limit, we plug in the lower limit, when we subtract, notice that this here goes to 0, and the negative cancels out the negative, so we get 1 over e. That means that the function y equals e to the minus x integrated from x equals 1 to infinity, they are need the curve equals 1 over e. Now when we evaluate our other function, y equals e to the minus x squared, which of course would be much more difficult to try and integrate that, what we can assume then is that when we integrate this function from 0 to 1, which is this integral right here, we will get some finite value. That's quite clear by the graph here, that this here, this area here, is indeed a finite value. Now for the second part, from 1 to infinity, Notice that that's the function right here, and this function will always be smaller than the function y equals e to the minus x, which tells us that this portion of the integral here will also converge because it must be smaller than the value 1 over e. That means that this here, this portion right here, will be smaller than 1 over e. This portion here will be a finite number. And so the sum of a finite number and a number less than 1 over e together will be a finite number and therefore that integral will indeed converge. So you can see that comparison test is actually quite handy and that's how it's done.